I need five minutes. <laughs> That's what happens after you run 347, 69. Yeah. Nice. How was that? Uh, it was probably the best race of the year for me. I think uh, I paced myself very well. I was very smart. And then at the end, I fought at the, until the finish line. Even like I tried to like throw myself, but uh, still like a national record. Couldn't have finished the season better. Uh, and I'm very happy with the, the season so far. I think uh, I think I accomplished all my goals, but maybe like a better placement in a world championships. But I, I'm super happy with it, and I think it was a great way to end the season. What uh, were all the signs in practice that said this was going to be possible? To be honest, this week I didn't feel great. Uh, the travel from back from Europe was really bad, and the travel here was really bad as well. And uh, going to altitude after three weeks out of altitude uh, for five days is not the best thing. But I feel like I tried to put all that aside, and I tried to like focus on all the work I've done this year. And I'm, it warmed me up today. I felt really good. Yesterday in the track, I felt really good. So I said, well, let's try to get the Spanish record. Let's try to finish top three in the race. And I almost accomplished both of those. And I, I fought for them at the, at the end, yeah. At one point, you have to make a decision where you see what Jakob and Yard start to pull away. And then you're like, OK, I don't know if I'm going to make that move. What was the conscious decision there? Well, I mean, I, I tried to go in the back because I was like, well, I know they're going to go out very hard, so I want to pace myself well. And then when I saw like they were like 15 minutes ahead, I was like, well, let's, let's try to like get there. And then like if they fade away, you know, like maybe we can try to catch them. And I focus on being there. And then obviously like they run 343, uh, only Elke and and Ngeni run that fast. So when you have two guys that run that fast, sometimes, you know, third place is really good. But hopefully next year I'll be, I'll be with them, I'll be closer to them. I train with Jari every day. So I know what he does and I know what he to run that. So. Do you see that in practice? Like, is Yari just a little bit ahead sometimes? Or how does it, how does like Dathan structure it? Yeah, I mean, he's a little bit ahead sometimes, you know, in some specific workouts, but like, most of the time we, we just run together. So I think like he, he just reacts to training maybe a little better or like reacts to a little better. But I think it's about a second weeks and weeks and weeks. And I know I, I train with one of the best guys in the world, one of the best guys in history. So I, if I train with him, I, I think I can be one of them. So that's, that's what I focus on. We go all the way back to like January, February, you're doing races and, and workouts indoors and it's been a long year yeah <laughs> what do you grade this season uh good question uh i would say regarding my process so i like all the training everything i do on and off the track i'll give it an a or an a plus even and results maybe like a b or b plus i think like uh i try to focus more on the process so that's what i'm gonna i'm gonna like focus on and the results will come and I think the process is perfect and has been perfect all year long, so I just need, I need to keep doing it. What's the vacation plan? Well, I'm going home, I'm helping my parents uh, move some furniture, and <laughs> because they were like doing some stuff in the house, and uh, yeah, yeah, just re relaxing with them and trying to enjoy the family and, and my friends back home. You earned it, Mario. Thank you. Thank you.